hi guys welcome to today's quick tutorial in which we're going to discuss how to do a simple clay rendering in V-Ray for SketchUp so here I have a model of Sydney uh, which I've downloaded from CAD Mapper so for those of you who don't know it's CAD Mapper, CAD Mapper is right in which you can download uh, 2D CAD files and 3D files in all these formats AutoCAD, SketchUp, Illustrator and Rhinoceros for free up to one kilometer square I'll put the link in the description if you want more than one kilometer square you'll have to go for the paid option i've discussed about the site in my previous videos also all right so let's just get into it quick so if basically a clay render is a render which is has a uniformity in material usually it's it's on uh, in a gray tone style so for that there's two buttons that you gotta switch on in V-Ray. that's all so just, just go to the V-Ray Asset Editor and under that let's uh, we have to go to Material Override and On Material Override and preferably give it to a grey tone which you like so I have set it to this shade you can make it a little darker or lighter so I'll just leave it back to whatever it was after that click on this small icon over here expand your uh, Asset Editor uh, settings render settings and go to Global Illumination and switch on ambient occlusion so what ambient occlusion does is it gives more it gives more depth to your shadows so basically even though the material is uniform the three dimensionality of the model is more visible because of the shadow depth okay so let's just give it a quick render so you see how the render is turning up with consistent gray material so, so we'll just let that render so basically when you cl clicked on material overlaid it has changed all your set materials even if they set to white or any other color it will all change to one single color and basically give you a quick render that you can use for basic diagrams or even just explaining your building forms the designs so let's just have a look at rendering in the meantime i'll just export some line work so that i can even show you what else you can you can do from this image so i'll just check if the render we exported is in is in the aspect of the yeah it's in the same aspect of the image so we can easily overlay them so i'll just export a line work image so i just go to hidden line in styles and i'll just maybe on the profiles Thicken the profiles a little bit to two. Yeah, I'll just keep it at one. You can just adjust it whatever settings you like. So I'll just export this to the graphic and let's just save it in our desktop. We'll just make a new folder, clay render. And it is called the outline. And our render is sort of done, so we can just save it. So, yeah, we'll just call it as render clay. So, that's saved. I'll just go to the folder and drop it directly into Photoshop and we just drop the outline also right on top of it just expand it, sort it all is correctly alright and we just set this to multiply so you see the, the kind of effect that we can easily create with these images you can even even invert the outline by pressing ctrl i and sort of multiply setting it to screen you can even get an effect like this so based on the effect that you want to choose you can create quick diagrams that explain the form of your design easily using this clear render technique yeah, so that's all for today's video guys subscribe to my channel and i and 
more videos coming soon thank you